Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I promised last week that we'd start going into all the new features that we added in uh, in February this year. And I'm going to start looking the next couple of weeks at fonts. All we have done to help you with fonts and it's really amazing since that is what we use more than any other feature in our software, whether we actually realize it or not, that's our big push. So we're going to come in and I'm going to come up to the word tools at the top and I'm going to come down and left mouse click on the word preferences. And then I'm going to come over to the word font. Now as long as we're on this front page, I'm going to go ahead and mention, I know I mentioned it before, but I just want to keep adding this in is that right here it says machine format. Now for the first time you can select your machine's format and have it automatically come up to save to that format. Now I have also said let's go and save to autosave. Now this is my machine format this is my default save format. Now I'm going to go away from multi-needle because let's say I'm going to save for my uh, Destiny or my Dream 2. I'm going to come here and I'm going to change it there. Now right here I'm going to go to the auto save is going to have WAF selected because I do want to always have that done. Now you'll notice color match on loading I have some thread colors I was using for my hands-on class. Well, I'm going to go ahead and come down and say, I want you to auto match to the Floriani Poly thread chart. So again, the machine format I use, and the reason we pick this is when we go to hoops, it's going to show us all the hoops that are available for the PEZ format. Default save, that means when I go file save as, this baby log brother Bernina comes up as the default format to save my design in and then I have selected auto save WAF as well because I always want to save my working file. Now we're going to come on down and we're going to go to the word fonts. Now we have given you a brand new fun feature here that's going to allow you to work with all the fonts. Now we have well over 200 options for you in the fonts and sometimes you get tired of scrolling down sometimes there's things you never are going to use and they're always there that you've got to scroll through for instance if Verona was one of your favorite fonts you have to scroll down every time through everything to get to it well I could come over here and select Verona and click over here and say this is one of my favorites and now Verona is going to be at the top of my list. It's still going to be in alphabetical order but starting above the A's at the very top of my list. So instead of it starting with Academy Bean, it will start with Pixie 6, Tweet, Verona, Wasabi, Wellington, Wiggles. You get the idea. Now also on the same thing I can disable fonts. Right now I'm going to say I don't want to see appliques. I don't want any applique fonts in my list right now. I'm not doing anything with these and they're just in my way. So I'm going to go ahead and take some applique fonts out. Now I might also come down and say, you know what? I'm not going to do anything right now with my Greek. So I'm going to disable the Greek. And so and so forth. We could come down and see fonts that we really don't like, that we're not using. And um, we've got our new puffy foam fonts. We've added some puffy foam fonts for you. So if you're using puffy foam, it's the fonts are digitized that closes off the caps, say on your T's, your I's. So these are if I'm going to use puffy foam. But right now, I'm not doing anything with puffy foam. So I'm going to disable those fonts as well. Now that I have disabled all of these fonts and I've got my favorites over here, I'm going to say OK. Now when I come up and left mouse click on my fonts, click on screen, I want you to notice in my fonts now if I drop down, let's see what's at the top. Pixie Stick, Tweet, Verona, Wasabi, Wellington, and notice 
all my applique fonts are gone. My Greek fonts are no longer there. I also don't have any of my puffy foam fonts. Those are all missing. So I have kind of whittled down my list. Now we did remember add in where it says all fonts here. I now have a way to kind of look at categories. I can say I want to look at all my handwritten fonts and now the only fonts that are going to come up are those that have the handwritten look. So we've really done a whole lot for you with fonts. Now let's go right back. Tools, left mouse click on preferences. Let's go back to fonts and let's say okay I've decided that I'm tired of pixie stick. So I'm going to take pixie stick and I'm going to send it back over to the enabled fonts. I'm going to not, I mean it's no longer at the top. Now if I wanted to take tweet and say I don't want to use it at all, I could send it on over to the disabled. And let's go ahead and get rid of Wellington. I don't want to see Wellington anymore. But I've gotten to where I'm loving this bold blended so I'm going to add that to my favorites. And notice it's going in alphabetical order. So let's go ahead and pick Ghostly and say that's a favorite. So now here's Ghostly. So now let's go back and look without closing my software, without refreshing anything, when I bring this down, notice I've got Bold Blended, Ghostly, Verona, Wasabi, and Wiggles. My Pixie's gone, all, Wellington's gone, and I've also gotten completely rid of Pixie. I went ahead and sent it over. Into, I'm sorry, my Wellington, I've also sent it completely over to my disabled fonts. Now when we are disabling these fonts, I want you to understand we are not removing them or deleting them out of our computer. We're merely saying hide these fonts from my list right now. So I could come back and I could select my applique fonts and I could say enable, enable, I can come back and I can put my applique fonts right back in my list. Let's come over here and look. And sure enough, I've brought back all my applique fonts. So applique is back. So look at how easy we have now made it to work with your fonts. So I could come in here, type in no you will love this feature. So I've got that. I'm going to change the height to about 5. I'm going to come in here to my fonts. And you know what? I'm going to go to all fonts because I think I want to do this in the handwritten look. Come in and I think I'm going to pick Latte. And I'm going to apply. So now I've got this in here. Let's, whoops, don't you know I needed to make that a lowercase. And I'm going to fit this to screen. Well, I thought I fixed this. I did, but I didn't hit apply. Apply. Fix that. So now, know you will love this feature. Now let's just go and see what we've done also. Let me put this in a bright color. When I go to I'm going to delete that one. I don't want it. When I go to File, Save As, notice my default format is my PES version 9. So when I save this now, and I will save this as Latte, when I save this font, I will just go ahead and make a quick folder on my desktop for us. Um, called fonts. I'm going to save it in there. Now if I open that same folder, notice it's got the WAF file and it's got my PES. So it went ahead and chose my default format that I asked for, but it also put it in with my WAF format as well. So if I want to change anything, I'm always going to come back to the WAF. Remember, WAF is not stitches, it's a working information file. So we always want to go to that. When we make changes, that is our preference to select.
So I hope you enjoyed this week's new feature. Next week we're going to explore font play. Now this one is huge. You're going to have a ball with it. I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week.